Hi, my name is Joe and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems and today we're going to be looking at some tips and tricks inside of SolidWorks Inspection and specifically we'll be taking a look at the OCR Optical Character Recognition Tool as well as some custom balloon settings that we can manipulate here in SolidWorks Inspection. So let's start off with some of the OCR tips and tricks, okay? What we've got here is a drawing. We haven't created any balloons or anything yet, but as you may have seen in the past in one of our other videos, we can use what's called the OCR tool to capture text off of a drawing and pull it in here to the different parts of our project. So we can use the OCR tool to get text. We can also use the OCR tool to get dimensions off of our drawing and create our balloon inspection report. No, what you may not have known is that we can actually create these balloon drawings for more than just your typical SOLIDWORKS drawings that come in in a PDF or TIFF format. We can actually do this for any CAD package. And this OCR tool will work on any CAD drawing that you go ahead and open up in PDF or TIFF format. Now, one of the things that we can do is actually adjust the settings of our OCR tool to better capture the text and numbers off of the drawings that we have here and actually optimize it for those different kinds of things. So for example here, let's go into the Home tab and go into the Options and what we'll see here is that under Project Options Imaging OCR, we have text extraction and dictionary font tools as well as filter settings that we can go ahead and apply to the OCR tool to better capture text and better identify numbers so that we don't have any kinds of errors. So as you see here, this is set to standard by default. Now this is really great for your standard SOLIDWORKS drawings in the standard uh, font that they come in, maybe in the ANSI standard. Now if you were using something else, you might want to switch it up. Maybe if you use Century Gothic, which is a very common one, you could go ahead and switch it to that, and it would, might pick up the text a little bit better. But what you'll also notice here is there are some set preset to, uh, filters here for ACAD, CATIA, as well as NX. And so we already have these predefined settings that will optimize the OCR tool to go ahead and pick up the text and numbers off of drawings that come from those CAD packages. Now down here at the bottom we also have these filters here that will let us also sharpen, dilate, or enhance the edges of the actual images that we capture to again better define the kind of text or numbers that we might be pulling out. So if you feel like you're getting a lot of errors or perhaps the OCR tool isn't performing as well as you think it could be, this these settings in here as well as adjusting what kind of font is the standard uh, that it's looking for might help in reducing that error uh, if any is, is causing problems for you. So that's one of the first tips and tricks we wanted to talk about today. Now the second one is in these ballooning settings here. What people may or may not know is that you're not locked into the default settings for the balloons that you get with inspection out of the box. You can actually customize it so that your templates always have a certain balloon style that you might prefer. So let's say if our border color, which is now set to red, if we weren't happy with that, we could change the default to one of these other standard colors as well as going into the palette of where we could pick any color under the sun here. We can also uh, affect the starting value for the balloons as well as the font size. We can specify a custom size. Um, we can also set the fit. So if we know that the number of characters that we're going to use for our balloons is probably going to be pretty large or perhaps the font's going to get kind of uh, larger, then we can go ahead and choose to use a bigger fit to make the balloons physically larger. We can also change the balloon shape, the fill color, the relative position to the characteristics. So as you can see here on the sheet, our balloon is set by default to the left of the characteristic that we're capturing. But we didn't have to put it there, which is where it's set to. It could be in the upper left corner, it could be in the upper right corner, it could be on top. It really just depends on what you prefer. Now we also have some other settings down here for key characteristics. Not everybody uses these, but one way that you could identify it is with a K prefix before the number. Or you could put it as a suffix after the number. Or you don't have to use a K at all. You could actually write key or you could write something else here. We also have leader lines. Um, in this case, they're set to hide by default, but if we wanted to, we could show them by default and give them some color perhaps different than that of the balloons or have it match the border color of the balloon. So uh, for anybody who wants to customize how certain balloons are created by default inside of your reports, inside of inspection, this is where we would go. Of course, we can always override those settings using the Home tab balloon appearance section or directly inside of the ballooning section for each individual characteristic. But if we wanted to create create a specified template with certain balloon settings that are always the default from the very beginning, this is where we'd want to be, is in the project opt-ins and ballooning settings. So those are some tips and tricks for SOLIDWORKS inspection. If you liked this video, be sure to check out our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.